Hi everyone and welcome back. So Samsung just got a massive approval from FDA and now they can send irregular heart rhythm notifications using your Galaxy Watch. This feature will arrive first on Galaxy Watch 6 out of the box. But Samsung has said that even Galaxy Watch 4 and above are capable of sending irregular heart rhythm notifications using bioactive sensor in combination with Samsung Health app. Previously, you had to check for irregular heart rhythm, which could be a potential sign of atrial fibrillation using the Samsung Health Monitor app and Galaxy Watch ECG feature. After this update, users will be notified of irregular heart rhythm, even without actively taking ECG reading, as this whole process will work in the background. This is similar to what is present on Apple Watch with ECG feature. As of now, Galaxy Watch can only send notifications if the heart rate is too high or too low while at rest and you can change the base value according to your age in Samsung Health app on your Galaxy Watch. Once enabled, this irregular heart rhythm notification system will run in the background and it will notify users if there is a sudden change or fluctuation in heart rhythm and users will be asked to perform an ECG on their Galaxy Watch. ECG can then tell if there is any sign of atrial fibrillation or not. Right now, Samsung got approval from FDA only in the US. We have to wait a bit more to see where exactly this feature will be available. For example, my Apple Watch says this background irregular heart rhythm notification system is not available in my region. But the good news is this won't be limited to Galaxy Watch 6. This feature will be also coming to Galaxy Watch 4 and above with One UI 5 update. Let's wait and see how many regions will be getting this update after FDA approval, as we already know that Samsung BP system didn't got approval from FDA in the US, while it's working perfectly fine after FDA approval in the UK. And that was all about for today's episode, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one, until then, bye bye.